So here's three quarterbacks to stash heading into week 10 before the game start. And the first guy is Cam Newton of the New England Patriots. This week, I don't love his matchup at all versus Baltimore. But I'm looking towards next week more than anything for Cam Newton. As him and the New England Patriots versus the Houston Texans that give up the fifth most fantasy points to quarterbacks. And Newton, he's been dropped again in a bunch of fantasy leagues as Cam. I even dropped him in one. But I got Herbert anyway in that one, so there's no need for him. But if you need a quarterback next week with injuries, boys, or you're in a two-quarterback league, next week's a good week to get Cam. So I would stash him before this week is over. He's available, Cam, in 35% of fantasy leagues. He's 65% owned. His percentage dropped for 7% after he had a decent game versus the Jets. 274 yards, 16 rushes. For two rushing touchdowns at the goal line. So it was a pretty decent game. I'm not looking to use him this week. But the stash is for next week. When he versus Houston in Houston. The second quarterback's Ben Roethlisberger. He's still on the COVID list. And he got dropped by a bunch of managers this week. His percentage went down 5%. See he's out there in a few leagues. In 83% of leagues he's owned. But he's available in 17 Ben's available in two of my leagues, so he's a guy I would try to make a move on before it hits waivers for next week because he's got an insane matchup versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, who we see everyone throw on. They give up the third most fantasy points to quarterbacks, and Big Ben, he's going to have a big game next week if he comes back. We just saw him have a good game versus Dallas with 34 fantasy points, so Ben could do the similar thing versus Jacksonville, so if Ben's out there... Go stash him in the third and final quarterback that would look to stash before this week starts. It's Teddy Bridgewater of the Carolina Panthers. Bridgewater last week versus the Kansas City Chiefs. He had one hell of a game, 32 fantasy points. 310 yards passing and two touchdowns and a rushing touchdown with 19 yards on the ground. This week versus Tampa, he's middle of the pack, but I had him on the bench list. Because I think Tampa, just all around, they're going to come out fired up, looking for vengeance. And Caroline is going to be on the bottom, the bad side of that beating. So I don't like them this week. But next week, in a home game versus Detroit, Teddy Bridgewater has, who gives up the nice most fantasy points to quarterbacks. So I'm going to stash Bridgewater for next week. So these are three quarterbacks I'm looking to stash before the game starts Sunday, heading into week 10.